What's up guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload my next video. Now today we're going to go over this week's Global Labs patch notes. As always, remember lab server changes usually take two weeks to appear on our live servers, assuming the developers are happy with the feedback given. So Ranger, Sorceress, Berserker, Tamer, Mewa, Dark Knight, Striker, Mystic, and Lon all received new awakening skills and test server this is basically the rebomb skills that we were told that were coming not really rebomb some of the animations look like other skills that these skills uh, these classes have but they are wholly new skills that can combo from other skills within the awakening kit so every class will be getting a new awakening skill and they will all launch at once so all the skills have to be out in test server first the ones i've tested were mystic ranger and dark knight so mystic skill combos well with a lot of her awakening skills and is a super armor skill rangers combo as well as well and with a fairly nice frontal guard duration on the actual new skill and dark knight skill by itself is a little bit slow but you can actually combo that with other skills for fast execution and provides a bit of a protected movement as well it's basically the way a lot of these skills are working they may seem slow if you just use them by themselves but if you combo it with another awakening skill you can see that it will cut usually the slow animation or the first part of the skill short so you can just go to the damage part of that skill now berserker's new awakening skill seems particularly strong from uh, testing with a friend it seemed to do a lot of damage was protected it seemed like everything what berserker wanted uh, sork skill has has a 100% down smash so that alone is pretty strong and we're gonna see of course other classes get new awakening skills next week maybe two weeks from now we should be getting all of the awakening skills or the new awakening skills in test server so you can test that out and that means we should maybe see it in about a month on live servers give or take maybe a week a new item was also introduced that infuses rings with either HP plus 125 or crit damage plus 3% depending on which stone you use. Now so far the rings that can be infused are the Crescent Ring, Kadri, Forest Rotoros, Kaposha, Ruins, Tungrad, and Ominous. You can only infuse the ring with one type of effect, so you cannot actually stack, say, the HP and crit damage effects. But if you use a Ruins ring that already has HP up, you can use the HP stone to increase that HP bonus even further. The Infusion stone can be extracted like Garment's Heart, so you can swap around if you want. It's an awesome change in my opinion. Unfortunately, all the items needed to craft this infusion stone drop from Elvia server so it will be a while before we get it in our global regions and we should expect this on every other type of accessory now black spirit adventure dice game has changed to no longer have dice completion failure if i'm reading this correctly so you can roll without worry of not being able to finish the board in the number of dice you had now i think this is a poor change in my personal opinion because i kind of enjoyed that little strategy of how to move around the board for whatever optimal outcome you wanted so whether it was for the special board tries or completions for the completion rewards now it seems like the dice game has become a bit simpler they have also rearranged the way the board looks and some of the rewards will be changed now one major change is that the doubles rule will be different so uh, the doubles is where you roll double threes for example and you get a free roll because of that but if you rolled doubles again you don't get the additional roll so that's changed now now you will get free rolls as long as you keep getting doubles on those rolls now old moon grand prix has been updated as well with a new season and ranking leaderboards no word yet on what placing high in rankings will reward you but at least you can have your best times on there there's also elvia servers receiving some major changes to loot tables and balancing of loot tables some areas got nerfed in terms of how much trash per hour you're getting horoscope npcs have been placed around the world as well where you can start doing quests and follow a story to receive a special gift for completing this quest line it seems to be sort of uh something you you try and find an oracle or a, a seer and they will tell you your fortune and depending on whether or not you can see her every few days uh, you'll be able to complete this quest line depending on a horoscope there's also an adventure journal attached to this but 
the details are pretty sparse and you can't actually test this on global labs unfortunately so i can't really have more detail for you guys but it looks like they're doing something with horoscopes finally so that looks pretty interesting and that's pretty much it for this one guys i know this week we had a bunch of changes because of the naeu transfer from cacao to pearl abyss i will be having a video on all the changes for that tomorrow but this is the test server notes so we're pretty much out for that remember we're gonna get this in about two weeks of course the awakening skills uh, probably a bit longer than that but let me know what you think about these new awakening skills do you like the addition of the accessory infusion stat that give hp or crit which one will you use let me know in the comments and as always guys thanks again for watching thanks for listening i'll see you all in the next one take care